If you see this one symptom, do an HIV test immediately, enlarged lymph nodes. Hello, it's Mark Medicals with the latest on HIV cure news, HIV treatment, and HIV testing. This video talks about HIV in your lymph nodes. Why does HIV cause enlarged lymph nodes? How do you tell if your lymph nodes are enlarged due to HIV or other diseases? Can HIV be cured before it has entered into lymph nodes? Alright, here we go. Here is what follows after HIV exposure and infection. HIV is transported to your lymph nodes within the first one to six days after infection. This is because your lymph nodes contain a high population of HIV-targeted CD4 plus T lymphocytes. Studies have shown that your lymph nodes contain 36% of your HIV within the first months of infection. HIV is transported to the whole of your body stem within 6 to 22 days after infection. So basically, primary infection with the virus occurs within your lymph nodes. Once in your lymph nodes, the virus usually follows two paths which I explain hereafter. HIV targets cells of your immune system called T lymphocytes more especially CD4 plus cells. HIV breaks into these cells and uses the mechanism of the CD4 cells to multiply or reproduce more copies of the virus. Actively replicating the virus is called active HIV. Once inside the CD4 cells, some HIV decides to lay dormant and this virus is called hidden HIV, silent HIV, or latent HIV. Your HIV treatment only eliminates the active HIV. Hidden HIV is the reason why HIV has no cure. No medications can eliminate the silent HIV. Silent or hidden HIV form what is called HIV reservoirs. Once you develop these reservoirs, your HIV becomes incurable since no medication eliminates it. Studies have shown that parts of your body that hides HIV are your brain or nervous system, your abdominal organs like intestines, and your lymph nodes. If you stop HIV from forming reservoirs, then it can be eliminated from your body by either your immune system or HIV medications. This is the reason we want you to take HIV prevention medicines called PEP within less than 72 hours after exposure. PEP eliminates the HIV before it has formed reservoirs and therefore cures it completely. Once HIV reservoirs have formed, there is no medicine or anything that can eliminate it from your body. Your lymph nodes act as a filter for viruses, germs, and other microbes. After HIV has invaded your lymph nodes, your nodes respond by swelling. Swelling is a way to prepare to fight the virus. Swelling of your lymph nodes usually starts after the first week of HIV infection and involves lymph nodes located in all regions of the body. If you are infected with HIV, you will have what we call persistent generalized lymphadenopathy. This means that your lymph nodes keep swollen for as long as you are living with HIV. If you have swollen lymph nodes on one side of the body, that's not HIV. HIV lymphadenopathy is generalized. Swollen lymph nodes will appear under your jaws, behind the ears, in the neck, in the armpit, and in the groin. Actually, HIV lymphadenopathy affects your whole body as opposed to other infections like allergies. Having said so, if you discover generalized lymph nodes one to two weeks after exposure to HIV, I recommend you test for HIV immediately. As I said earlier, enlarged lymph nodes are the only sign of HIV, especially in stages one and two. If your lymph nodes are swollen in more than one to two parts of the body, please go and test for HIV as soon as possible. Apart from HIV, the following causes swollen lymph nodes, syphilis, sore throat, TB, cancer, cold and flu, allergies, and many others. So guys if you see enlarged lymph nodes, do an HIV test immediately.